did not actually throw in sales total by thousands. Instead, I put it in as the chart title. Just in case you need to do that, which you will in some reports, um, remember that the vertical axis is right over here. Okay, so what you do is click over here where you've got the axes, where you've got the labels. So where you see the labels, that's the axes right over there. And then if you wanted to do that, you would have just came over. I'm going to right click and click show axes title to bring the axes back up. And truthfully, rather than hit delete like I did earlier, I could have just right clicked on either the horizontal axes or the vertical axes and clicked on show axes title and that would have also removed it. And then once I've got the axes clicked on, I can now do my right clicking type thing, go into axes title properties and I can give this whatever label I want to. In fact, their label, you know, so I'll just put whatever I want just to make a point. Other than that, that was the only real derivative that I did. There we go. And now I'll just click off of it and I'll run it. And we can all see that over there. So now I'm going to save it back up to SharePoint and we are all done. And you, you've all seen this a million times already inside the other lecture, so I won't go too long. Uh, this should complete it. There we go, right there. And there's column charts, part five, which if you've been doing them all, you've come a very long way. Uh, thank you again, Brandon here, and look forward to the very next, um, the very next part of this series.